gamers, the Minecraft 1.20 reveal is coming up literally this Saturday. Over the past few months, we've made a lot of videos and we've had a lot of fun theorizing this update. Today is the final prediction video because, like I said, this Saturday, we've actually got the truth of 1.20. Coming from the developers themselves at Minecraft Live. In this video, I'm going to go through five possible 1.20 updates. Out of these five at the end, I want you to comment down below which update you would prefer the most. To actually be the real 1.20? Or do you not like any of these ideas and have something completely different? Please subscribe and let's get right into this. To kick off our house of theories, maybe 1.20 could be Frostburn 2.0. Now, a couple months back, I did a whole video on this one. I thought it was really cool. Now, I don't really think that this is actually going to be 1.20, but it could still be cool. Like I said in that video, if the devs want a small but still epic update, they could easily do this. Maybe the Isolager from the 2020 mob vote could actually join the game. Maybe the polar bears could be given more of a functionality. Maybe this is an opportunity for a new cave biome. Maybe a new weather type like a snowstorm. It could literally be anything. And I think that it could be really, really cool if this is actually 1.20. I just highly doubt that it actually will be. But that is the first prediction. The next prediction I actually haven't made a dedicated video to. So this one will be new to you. You don't really study the Minecraft channel and videos. And I guess YouTube. Maybe, just maybe the long lost archaeology update could be the real Minecraft 1.20. Obviously we're going to go back to a crazy time in the world. 2020. Now yes we had the pandemic and everything. But it was also the year where Minecraft Caves and Cliffs was announced. This sounded really cool at first, but then there was a bunch of cancelled features and everything. The bundle and like the warden was moved to two updates later. But one feature that has never really been spoken of since, and it's been almost two years now, is, well, archaeology. Now, I wasn't really a big fan of this at first, but actually, it could be quite cool. Archaeology was kind of like you would find these excavation sites. I can't pronounce that word. Excavation sites, something like that. And you would basically go there. And you would like, I don't know, it would be like a brush added with shovels and stuff. And you would kind of leap through the blocks and try and find like valuables inside it's kind of difficult to explain i'll put it up on screen but i think that this could have been really cool and i mean considering that it's been two years i mean maybe it's finally time to add this to the game the inventory update i mean this here is the bedrock edition inventory the one that I'm familiar with. And this is the Java inventory. Both inventories are cluttered up. There's probably over 1,000 items in the game today. So it's a pretty busy inventory. I do like how Bedrock does it. Like, you have a plus icon, you click on it, and it shows all the wood or all the glass or all the bricks. I do really like that. Java doesn't do it like that. But it's not only the creative inventory that's a mess. The thing that most people care about, and I completely understand this, is this inventory. Within five to 10 minutes of exploring early game, this inventory will be full. Now, yes, we have things like shulker boxes and ender chests, but you don't have that on day five. You have that on day Whatever day you beat the Ender Dragon, you don't have it straight away in your world. You don't just spawn in and have 50 shulker boxes on the go. So it takes a while. 
An inventory update I can see in that being 1.20. But at the same time, I can't. I just can't. Like, they haven't done it. They haven't done anything about it for years. But at the same time, they just keep adding items. Like, I'm not saying I want them to stop. I love all these new items that they keep adding. But maybe it's time for an inventory revamp. It's been the same for a decade. Hey, stop. Stop, community. Stop. You're wrong. I'm telling you, this is not 1.20. But I felt it's so big, I've got to include it in this video. And Skulk Vein, Deep Slate, clearly we're in the deep dark. Oh, I think you know what's coming. Could 1.20 be the ancient city portal? No, okay? Just, just no. But the community have been theorising for months about this since this was added in february or it might have even been since it was shown off last october i actually can't remember point is they've been theorizing for a very long time there's been this weird portal frame and before 1.19 actually released in like early snapshots people were thinking new dimension new dimension and you see all these thumbnails like a blue portal and everyone keeps saying that it's gonna be a new dimension update personally i do not think it is i don't think that the devs are gonna do that i think that the devs have done this and done this portal frame thing on purpose they like to watch us theorize like this but i i, I don't i don't like it okay i don't like how everyone keeps saying that it's gonna be an ancient city portal i will hold my hands up and say at the beginning of snapshots in like february i was thinking maybe maybe but not not anymore it just doesn't seem like a thing that the devs would do maybe you think otherwise but to me they're not gonna do it especially not for 1.20 but now the moment we've all been waiting for all of these updates i wouldn't mind 1.20 being but at the same time i would prefer 1.20 to be the update i'm about to show you and I think that half the community would agree with me. An end update? Could 1.20 be an end update? Oh my god, please. I want 1.20 to be an end update so badly. The dragon fight is so boring. The outer end islands are so bland. There's nothing here but endstone obsidian, enderman, bedrock. It sounds like a lot. But compared to all the other dimensions, it is pathetic. The Nether and the End, they were kind of similar pre-1.16. Both boring, plain dimensions. But after the Nether got revamped and the Overworld, underground and above ground with the mountains and the caves, I mean, the End is just a lonely dimension. This is also part of the reason why I don't see the developers adding in ancient city portal, new dimension, all of that stuff. Because the end isn't even up to date yet. I think it's been like this since it was added in, when was it? Probably in like 1.4 or something. Early, early up. So please developers, Mojang if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, but if you are, end update please end update hashtag hashtag make 1.20 be an end update hashtag make 1.20 be an end update end update mojang end update but unfortunately this is now the official end of our 1.20 theorizing roller coaster because this saturday we have the truth to what this update will actually be at minecraft live I'm super excited for this weekend. Obviously, there's going to be a massive video out on the channel covering Minecraft Live like I did last year. Hopefully on the Saturday, but maybe Sunday if I can't get it edited in time. In the mob vote, I'm Team Sniffer. And for 1.20, I'm Team End Update. What about you? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, gamers.
and thank you for being a part of this wild ride of theorising the 1.20 update.